Oh, I'm getting a call. Course. Course. <sighs> Shin splints. Why? How? I used to get shin splints all the time. Ever since I started training seriously, I haven't gotten them. And now today, randomly, I'm trying to do this run. It's just six miles and I'm um, in so much pain. <sighs> Sucks. I'm not feeling great today. It's Tuesday. I took yesterday and Sunday off and, you know, ate bad food, drank a little bit of alcohol. I gotta be honest with you guys, you know. Again, I'm not gonna pretend like this is easy I'm trying to make a serious lifestyle change and sometimes i kind of get sucked back into the bad habits but it's funny it's because you could i could feel myself like i woke up this morning and i felt myself like oh, i don't want to work out and i was like fuck that scares me but you know the quote it's only quitting if you don't start again but now i got shit spines a little sad right now i'm trying my best i'm gonna keep going and see what i can do i will say though this is my favorite time of year. I fucking love being outside in October and November in LA. The waves, they all have this big spray because of the offshore winds. It's so hard to explain. I've tried to explain this to Kelsey like a thousand times. It like sounds different. You stand on the beach and it's just like this calming sense of serenity. <laughs> so anyways, I guess I'm not that sad. I'm enjoying this right now. My shin splints, after the stretching, they feel, knock on wood, decent. Look at this, fucking beautiful. Oh my God. I did it. Yes, 7.4 miles. The last two miles I did at 7.30 for my splits. So I was going fast as fuck. So the shin splints eventually, I mean, I still feel them a little bit, but they weren't like debilitating today, which is nice. And I just feel good that I fucking finished that. Back on track, you know? Sometimes it's like you slack for two days and you're like, ah, oh, I've lost everything. There's no point. Way to go. But, you know, it's important not to be too critical. And like the last two miles felt fucking great. I was, I was crushing them for lack of a better word. So anyways, I didn't mean to make this like therapy today, but <laughs> again, like I, I just want to make sure that this is, um, an honest documentation of what it feels like to work towards something really hard. It's like this, but overall it goes up, you know? But like, you're gonna have some down moments. Anyways, I don't know what I'm saying. Time to rip the podcast, and then I'm getting my car serviced. I'm actually really excited about that. <laughs> 19 warning lights on my car for months now. It just feels like it's gonna fucking blow up in any second. Like every time I'm on the highway, I'm like nervous that the car's just gonna like explode or stop or like something because there's so many lights on. I'm pretty sure one of the lights is explosion light. Warning, car to explode in four miles. So after today, my car's gonna be smooth. All right, I'm just gonna finish this cool up, cool whip walk. It's cool across. Oh, this car doesn't see me. Doesn't see me. <laughs> it almost just hit me. So I'm just finishing this warm around and then I'm gonna go shower. I'm fucking late. I gotta, I gotta jog home. All right, bye. It's Wednesday. Time for an ocean swim. You wanna do some affirmations? Sure. We can swim. We are warm. We, we, sharks don't exist. <laughs> That's what I was doing. <laughs> People have been making fun of me relentlessly for my goggles being upside down. So today, the right side up, I think. I don't know which side is up actually. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> One last thing. <laughs> Energy is everything. <laughs> Come on, get pumped. Ow, oh, ow, oh, hurt, I'm pissed. I'm gonna go run it off. I'm so mad. Okay, where's my watch, dog? Where the fudge is my watch? Um, in here? Okay. Babe, what'd you do with my Garmin? Don't lie, babe, I know you touched my Garmin. We have no like good pre-workout meals in this house right now so i just had a maui shortbread cookie so hopefully that lasts me 90 minutes i got a couple gels in my old in my old uh, ass pocket here so let's get it energy is
everything. Uh. Headphones died. Guess we're raw dogging this one. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, come on. Rain drive. Fuck, sorry. 10.47 miles. Average speed of 8.30. A lot of training today, but felt fucking great, honestly. Felt amazing. Both workouts felt incredible. I'll just wait till you see what I got for dinner. Just wait. <laughs> oh, I was thinking about this the whole way. That's the thing, you know? I try to eat healthy most of the time, but if I do it, if I do two workouts in a day, I'm gonna treat myself, you know? Says the guy who treats himself daily. I do, I like to eat these little mochi things. Every night after dinner, I have a little mochi, a little treat. That's the thing, I like training super hard so that I can eat good and feel good, you know? By the way, I really wish I wanted to get those running shots where I run by the camera, but I, I just cannot make myself stop my run, set up the camera, run by it and then go pick it up. I know I've done it a few times on here, but I just can't do it. I can't do the Casey Neistat. I can't make myself stop. I like to just keep going. If I'm going, I'm just gonna keep going. It's the only way. If I stop, then I'm like, uh, maybe I should just like keep stopping. Maybe I should never stop stopping, but I never wanna stop, keep going. I know I never wanna keep stopping so I can keep going. That's, put that on a fucking t-shirt, you know? Energy is everything. Are you ready for this? Look at this shit. Boom. Lou Malnati's Portillo's collab. Italian beef deep dish pizza. How absurd is this? My friend sent like, a, like an article about this from, I don't know, tasteofchicago.com and he was like, how dumb is this? And I was like, I just bought two in five seconds. Babe, you, you excited for this? She's not. She's not, but she should be. She said she has not said stomach all day. This could help. Everyone knows Italian beef is good for settling a stomach. It's like, it's like ginger ale on a plane, you know? Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. Oopsie. Oh fuck. Oh my God. <coughs> oh, it's a hot pepper. Oh, that's spicy. Ah, I mean, come on, let's try a bite. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Is it? <clears throat> I mean, no, not actually, but it is really good. What is it actually? Six out of ten. Six? I mean, it's like mail order pizza. It's definitely not as good as Blue Malati's or Portillo's in person, but it's definitely decent. Oh, pretty good. Oh, hot peppers are no joke. Ah, they're so hot. I have to eat it. You don't actually. You I do. Someone's going to steal it. You can just wait until it's enjoyable. No. Oh. You're gonna burn yourself. Another day, another round of Cody's Badotes. Cody, that's the that's the shortened form of Cody's bad oats. Cody's Badotes. The trusty oat thing. The water's sizzling. Memories. Just saw this line over there. You know. Just feeling some some memes from last night. A lot of people have been saying put cinnamon in the oats, so I'm gonna try that today. We got a bike ride this morning. I haven't biked in like a week, so I'm gonna do that, and then tomorrow I'm gonna get outside on the bike. Two and a half hours. <laughs> That's me going 58 miles an hour. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with honey today. I'm gonna just grab the meat magic seasoning instead of the cinnamon. That would have been a little rude awakening. Some honey okay. and some cinnamon. Oh yeah, get that. Mix it all up. Yeah. It's no Lumonati's Portillo's Italian beef deep dish pizza, but it'll do. Cody's Badotes. You know what? I missed you. It's been a week. I gotta be honest. 
I know we, we got this like love hate thing going on, but I miss you a little bit. All right. All right. Time to strap in here. Ah! Come on! Ah! Three seconds. Holy fucking god. Oh man. That sucked. Oops, might have just messed up and carved some jack o' lanterns. Oopsie. They look so good. They look really good. Screw, screw. Morning. It's about 6.30 on Friday. You know, I'm just doing the five million things I have to do before taking my bike outside. Just screwed back on this water bottle. Water bottle? Nope. Water bottle holder. Computer is almost dead though, so I gotta charge that. Put the back tire on right now. I gotta pump, pump them, make sure they're pumped. And then I gotta eat, and then I gotta get dressed, and then I gotta find my helmet. The one thing that's bad is I broke this. Probably just gonna pop off, and not in a good way. Put this back tire on. on folks okay so i reattached this because i moved my arrow bars like last week so i took this water bottle water why do i i just had to put that back on i put the back wheel on i gotta figure out what's going on with my computer i gotta charge that my watch meter hasn't been working like the last time i took this out my computer wasn't reading my watts for some reason so i gotta figure that out Maybe not today, but eventually. I have to make sure my tires are pumped up. I gotta eat, I gotta get dressed. So 6.30 right now, I hope to get on the road by 2.30. <laughs> I gotta get a water bottle for this. I gotta get some gels. I mean, we're making decent progress already. Got some Cody Badotes going on. It's 7.20 a.m. I got some coffee. We should be on the road in another five more hours and we should be out there. I'm pretty much ready. There's a couple more things I gotta do, so I should be on the road in three hours. Just gotta tape the thing that's broken. I'm just gonna tape it and put on my shoes. So yeah, that should take like two or three hours. And then we're good to go. Now, but for real, I'll be on the road in five minutes. I'm trying to get some footage today of me on my bike. As I just fucking, you know? You might not even be able to see me or like get a good picture or video or anything because I'll just be like going so fast. <laughs> so, okay. The cool thing about this being broken and not being able to stay shut is that, you know, the only things that'll go in here are just like the unimportant stuff, like my credit card and my phone. <laughs> so that's cool. <laughs> I just biked 10 extra minutes just to get that clip. Just to have any footage of me riding outside. I got you this. So Cody uh, called me, he said he was coming by, so I wanted to give you like a little... I said I needed uh, some energy. So this is what you decided to get? Yeah. A drumstick and some cigarettes. And there's a lighter in there. Oh, thank you. One of these doesn't really do much for me. So here, I've been really craving the smoke. <laughs> I got a 15 minute run now, a transition run, so I got to get home. Change really fast. He just gets hit by a car right there. Oof. It's the end of Cody trains. Okay, just, oh, just got home. I rode for about two hours and 50 minutes, so like 20 minutes longer than I was supposed to, but I just, you know, had to get that clip of me on the bike, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Now I gotta transition run, so I gotta have, I gotta like change real quick and then just go for it, so. All right, shoes are on, keeping the sunglasses on. We just need one more thing. Let's get it. Energy is, what? Actually, I'm taking these off. Everything, that's right. This is fucking awesome, I gotta be honest. I feel great. I had another gel. I've been running for seven and a half minutes. I just finished my first mile, so I've been running fast. I feel great. So, that's it. That's it. Run's done. I'm cooking up my shower right now. Much needed. That was a long day. I'm glad I ate pasta last night. 
glad I was carved up. I ate three gels in total throughout the whole thing. So I never really felt hungry. Felt like I had energy the whole time. I ran at like 7.30, I don't know. I ran at blistering speeds for me. I don't know why, I just kind of felt compelled. It was only 15 minutes, so I was like, might as well just go all fucking out. Morning, morning, blessed day. We got one small workout. One more small workout before I leave you for the week. It's a two and a half hour run. Just one little two and a half hour run. And then we're done for the week. That's it. The only thing standing between me and a rest day is one very short two and a half hour run. 18 to 20 miles. <laughs> it's like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know? Slimy today. One thing that's not easy to do for me is drink drink water, just in general. I'm bad at it, but it's especially not pleasant at 6.30 in the morning. Halfway done, hour 15 minutes in, I'm down in Manhattan Beach. Everyone's surfing, looks so fun. I wanna surf. Why did I do this instead? I'm gonna eat a gel and then head back. My calf really hurts. That popping is still happening. I've noticed that it happens after a hard bike, after a hard ride, that the next day if I run, then it happens. Does that mean my, I'm fitted wrong? Like maybe my foot, my cleats are like too angled or something like that? People, let me know. Man, it's crazy. Like sometimes, you know, when workouts are going really well, I'm like, I kind of underestimate how much of a challenge Ironman's gonna be. I'm like, oh, I'm like already basically doing the swim. You know, I did a three hour bike yesterday. You know, what's six hours more or whatever. And I was telling my mom that and she was like, you're, you're massively underestimating how hard it is to ride a hundred miles and then get off the bike and do a marathon right away. And I mean, I'm just, learning that right now i just i just finished a half marathon right now i'm struggling right now i'm struggling my legs are so tired and i still i this has been 24 hours since i did the small bike i did yesterday compared to you know the real distance so i mean it's gonna be just to have no rest get off the bike and then do a whole marathon is gonna be a bitch like my legs are cooked i'm feeling weird pains everywhere i, mean, I got another like four miles or something to go so I guess I better get on it. Done. Two hours, 25 minutes, 16.3 miles. Stats. I'm done. Done for the week. That was hard. That was, a, that was one of the biggest weeks yet. Taking tomorrow off. I'm limping. Thanks for joining me on another episode. Choo choo. I'm gonna go make pancakes or something. I'm gonna hobble back to my place.